What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk to you guys about. This time actually revolving around LaMelo Ball and James Wiseman. For those of you who didn't know, it's actually currently being reported that the Golden State Warriors have met with LaMelo Ball and James Wiseman on Zoom. And this is being reported by Anthony Slater. Now, this is, you know, a very, very big news because we obviously know, well, yeah, they're going to be interested in James Wiseman. I mean... The, the, I would say the Warriors need a center, but they've always tried to do a small ball type of way where I don't necessarily know if James Wiseman would really fit in with their team. I mean, you know, we've seen that they have gone with other approaches before, like they've gone with Draymond Green at center, etc. So I didn't really think, you know, too much of it. But of course, they could try and get Onyeka on Kongu. For those who didn't know, he's like a small ball, a smaller ball type of center who's a really nice rim protector at six foot nine, a very similar player to like Tristan Thompson, you know, not necessarily a nice shooter, but he makes up for it, you know, with his great defense, great interior defense and all that type of stuff. Six foot nine, just kind of the guy that I think that the Golden State Warriors would like to get. But I definitely could see how they would really like James Wiseman. And yeah, again, I'm not exactly too sure how I like that. But Mallow Ball, that's a, a very, very interesting one because why do that? Why would they need Lamelo Ball? Like, do they really need Lamelo Ball at all? I can't really see a way where they need Lamelo at all. Like, considering even giving him an interview. Like, looking at their team, their best player is Steph Curry. Their second best player is Clay Thompson. Both happen to be a point guard and a shooting guard. So you would think they've got their guard situation good right there. Then you got Andrew Wiggins, a small forward, and then you got Eric Pascal and Draymond Green at the power forward positions, and then, you know, you you know, they need a center. So, why would they need LaMelo Ball? I simply do not understand it. Of course, you know, maybe, I guess just, you know, giving LaMelo Ball a Zoom call just kind of shows, I guess, that you're a little bit interested in him. But why? Shouldn't be the time and effort kind of be looked at other players? I mean, even Anthony Edwards may be a better solution than what LaMelo Ball would be. I'd, I would think LaMelo Ball would be extremely low on their priority list, even considering that the New York Knicks and other teams like the Detroit Pistons as well are going to definitely be really interested in LaMelo Ball in selecting him in the top three. So, again, why... Why would the Golden State Warriors want him? Like, let's just look at the reality that the Golden State Warriors trade down. They're still not going to get LaMelo Ball. Like, I mean, LaMelo Ball, it's a certainty. I would think he's going to go in the top five. And I think if the New York Knicks or Detroit Pistons get the first pick, you would think they would take both of those players at pick one. So, why, why would they need LaMelo Ball? You know, again, it's a huge risk. Even taking LaMelo Ball, like, he's not most likely going to start. He might play 25 minutes a night off the bench, but you could literally just go out and get a veteran point guard on a cheaper deal than what LaMelo Ball would be on. So why, you know, why would you... It just doesn't make sense at all to me. Again, I know that they're just, you know, probably zooming him just to see where he's at, what he's doing, etc. And again, maybe if LaMelo Ball does fall down in the draft, then it may be a cool thing to take LaMelo Ball at, like, pick six or something like that. I definitely could see that happening, but in any other situation, really, why? Because, you know, again, it's not like LaMelo Ball would most likely fall down to pick six. Again, a lot of people are asking this question, but I feel like it's just for an insurance factor, like, you know, just insurance to say that, well, in case LaMelo Ball does actually fall down in the draft, then at least we've got some intel on him. We know what his personality is like. We know what he wants to achieve. We know what he wants to get out. We know his positions and key goals. You know, just learning more about LaMelo Ball. I would assume that would be the reason why they would be, you know, doing a call with him. Other than that, there aren't exactly too many other reasons at all. And yeah, again, some could consider it kind of ridiculous, but I honestly actually think it could be on a right thing. I mean, yes, it literally makes no sense really in the whole entire world why they would be kind of calling him, but in my opinion, I kind of see a way where it does a little bit, because uh, you never really know. This NBA season's been so crazy. The draft could be literally as crazy, and there could be a scenario where maybe even the Knicks or the Pistons, like the Knicks, they have a chance they could literally fall down to pick seven. Again, it's extremely unlikely but there is a chance where I believe the Detroit Pistons and the New York Knicks could fall as far as pick seven. Some, uh, you know, pick seven. And maybe the Pistons want to take a different direction. I mean, they've already got Derrick Rose. Maybe they want to keep Derrick Rose and, you know, go a different position, which would mean 
if they're keeping Derrick Rose, they most likely wouldn't need a point guard. But even if, you know, the New York Knicks do get Chris Paul, which is highly rumored, I still think they're going to want to get LaMelo Ball at the end of the day. So uh, if, maybe if the Golden State Warriors don't have Onyeka Okongu or maybe James Wiseman on the board, it could be a smart idea to maybe potentially draft LaMelo Ball. But of course, really why? Like, why would you need to maybe just trade that pick? That's honestly the best option. And even if they fall down to, you know, pick six and maybe even LaMelo's still on the ball, uh, on the board, sorry, I would still consider, you know, maybe even trying to trade that pick. So, again, it doesn't exactly really make too much sense to me why the Warriors would be, you know, interested in him and actually giving him a call. Although, as, as I was saying, I think it's just for insurance factors, like in case he does actually fall down in the draft and then, you know, they also uh, have a lower pick, that maybe they'd want to take him. But, of course, that is extremely unlikely. Unlikely, sorry. But, of course, again, just insurance factors. But when it comes to James Wiseman, I think it's actually a pretty smart idea to interview him. I mean, there is it still a chance as well that Onyeka Okongu actually goes further ahead in the draft than what James Wiseman does, which again, I would think would actually be extremely interesting in my, you know, interested in my opinion. If maybe that the Minnesota Timberwolves really liked Onyeka Okongu and actually took him at like pick three or four just to get that rim protect uh, and all that type of stuff. And then, yeah, again... Maybe, you know, Wiseman, yeah, Wiseman could actually go down to them right there. Can I definitely think on Yeka Okongu shouldn't actually be prioritized by the Golden State Warriors. I think, let's just say they have pick four and both these players are on the board. I honestly think they should just take on Yeka Okongu because... He is a small ball, you know, type of player. With six foot nine, yes, he can play powerful, but I still feel like maybe his position is mainly at center because it's not like he's a great shooter or anything like that. I really do see maybe a more versatile Tristan Thompson and Wendell Carter Jr. Like, I mean, a lot more versatile type of player than what those two have been so far in their career. And even though Tristan Thompson's had a great career and has been, you know, a very, very good center for the Cleveland Cavaliers for a long time, I still feel like Onyeka Okongu could, you know, maybe even have a bigger potential than what he does, especially if the Golden State Warriors get their hands on him. But, again, if a team like the Minnesota Timberwolves or maybe, you know, just a team that needs a power forward slash center does take Onyeka Okongu before the uh, Golden State Warriors do, then, yeah, I definitely think they could look at getting James Wiseman. And, of course, it's just a cheaper solution to get James Wiseman then Rudy Gobert. For those who didn't know as well, there's been a lot of rumors that they could potentially look to seek out and get Rudy Gobert. But I feel like, you know, James Wiseman is a very a very similar player. I think that James Wiseman's also kind of a mix between Rudy Gobert and Andre Drummond. I just feel like, you know, he's definitely a lot better of a, you know, cheaper player. And again, even though it will be his first season and he will be coming off a couple of certain issues that he had when, it, when he was playing in college and all that type of stuff, I still feel like he will be a pretty nice player for the Warriors if they do get him, especially considering he won't have a big role at all. I mean, he'll be be playing behind players like Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins. He won't have a big role. He won't need to panic or do anything too stupid like some rookies, you know, tend to do. So I think he'll definitely have a kind of breezy first year if he was to get taken by the Warriors. But that's just why I really like the prospect of Onyeka Okongu. I just really like that match with him and the Golden State Warriors. And I think that, you know, a lot of people have been saying, trade away their pick, you know, all that type of stuff. Go get Rudy Gobert. But is the Golden State Warriors, we've seen them play for so long now. When have the Golden State Warriors in the last, you know, nearly 10 years gone for a tall ball lineup? I mean, the tallest they've ever gone with was having Andrew, you know, Bogut as their center. But other than that, they've played Kevon Looney at their center, who's not the tallest. They've had Draymond Green at their center who's not the tallest, it's just, you know, well, when when have they ever gone really that tall, and that's why I think on Yeko Okongri being six foot nine and kind of being that center, you know, well, power forward is mainly player, but can play that center type of position, would be kind of really nice for the Golden State Warriors, and would have that defense as well, but of course, maybe changing the scenario and bringing in some high with James Wiseman, maybe that would actually be a nice idea and definitely something that I could potentially, of course, see. But when it comes to LaMelo Ball, I don't think they're going to take LaMelo Ball. I think even if they fall down to pick six and if LaMelo Ball is somehow miraculously still on the board, they're probably going to look to try and trade that pick. But again, who really knows what's going to happen? This draft, I reckon, is going to be absolutely crazy. 
just like this NBA season it kind of, has kind of been pretty crazy as well. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA content and NBA news. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, mi 8 slash long channel. Links for them will all be in the description down below. And definitely go check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for that will all be in the description down below. You know, I talk about NBA content, NBA news, AFL content, AFL news, and just NFL content as well. Just really all the latest sporting, you know, news and content. Again, links for that will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.